Welcome to the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health video series on additive manufacturing and 3D printing. Here at NIOSH, our mission is to develop new knowledge in the field of occupational safety and health and to transfer that knowledge into practice. By this point, we've all heard about additive manufacturing or 3D printing, a new and innovative technology for making things. It's in widespread use, from the factory to the classroom, hospitals, and perhaps even in your home. But is it safe? Will using it put your health at risk? What about coworkers or anyone else nearby? Together, we'll try to answer those questions and understand how to practice safe additive manufacturing and 3D printing. In this series, you'll learn a bit about additive manufacturing and 3D printing, what the hazards are, and what steps you can use to protect yourself and others in the workplace. You'll also get to see what NIOSH is doing in this new and exciting field. Throughout this video series, we'll give you tools and resources designed to help you practice safe additive manufacturing. Additive manufacturing or 3D printing is the process of building larger items by joining smaller bits of material. Though some people prefer one term to the other or define them a bit differently, they more or less mean the same thing. In this series, we'll refer primarily to additive manufacturing, but know that you can substitute 3D printing just as well. It's a heavily computerized process. First, an image is made in computer-aided design or CAD software. This image may be generated from scratch by a designer, imported from a 3D object scanner, or anything in between. Once the object has been designed, it's manufactured by the machine or printer. Printers use a wide variety of techniques and materials. Some, like thermoplastic extruders, operate by melting plastic and depositing it in a desired shape. Others, like powder bed fusion machines, lay out metal or other powders across an entire surface and then bind the powder to particles together with high-powered lasers or electron beams. However they're made, the building process usually happens layer by layer. Each layer is a cross-section, or slice, of the desired final shape, and then new layers are added on top over and over until the whole shape is made. After the process is finished, the work isn't done. Additional steps called post-processing are usually required. This can mean removing extra material with tools or chemicals, sanding, polishing, painting, and finishing the surface or putting the product in an oven for additional curing or baking. Every product's design, processing, and post-processing is a unique sequence. Just as there's not a one-size-fits-all approach to additive manufacturing, every process deserves its own risk assessment and management strategy. This means asking and answering questions such as, what are the potential hazards of my process? And how can I control potential exposures? Safe additive manufacturing is not just about the safety in the printing process, but all the processes, from start to finish. In our upcoming series of videos, we address specific hazards associated with various processes, such as powder bed fusion, fused film and fabrication, vat polymerization, and others. We'll also detail some key steps to help prevent workplace exposures. For more information, please visit the additive manufacturing pages on the NIOSH website.